Okay. My past day here at the Bigelow Hostel before I decide to get my traveling Jones on again and go to beautiful Roma. Let's see. I'm gonna give you, I give me too, the uh, grand walking tour of the Bigelow Hostel. And there's a rooster symbolizing the Bigelow Hostel. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this is not too trippy, and I'll try to make it quick, as unboring as ever. Here is the chapel, which is actually closed up right now, in which I just did a concert not too long ago. And one of the people here, is put, this is the courtyard. This is the entryway in. The courtyard, you'll notice there's a well here. This well was used in the filming of a, a documentary or a movie about Michelangelo. Because you can see, it's not really a well, but it was featured probably in the movie. And here we go, from the hostel. And one of the great things about having a big ancient monastery hostel like this, is the birds. The doves tend to poop a lot. What is that? Anyways, here's the entrance to the chapel. Great. We just had an event yesterday in the chapel with 44 German uh, Kinder, I guess we call Kinder, from the beautiful country of Germany. Anyways, and the acoustics in here are great. Hopefully I can get that video sometime. I mean recording because one guitar sounds like three or four guitars in here. And probably hear the echo as we speak. This is the original fresco. And like I said, this used to be um, where the nuns, I think nuns and monks both lived here. But anyways, here we go. And this used to be the old reception hall. We're when you check in. Okay. Now quickly before I take in reception, i show you some of the top secrets. Here's Regina and Fernando. And they're showing off the fresco. Of the last supper. That is the last supper. Now, is it true that he did this and then he went and did the one in Rome? Mm -hmm. This is true, right? I know, it's a rumor! Huh? Okay. I don't, I don't think Ferdinando knows the rumor. <laughs> this is the fabulous Courtney. Where you can see everybody where we teach her sure stuff. This is where I do most of my communicating because the Wi-Fi is excellent there. Anyways. We are walking now, or I am walking now, to my happy place, which I will very much miss, not only for the great Tuscan sunsets, but because this is where I get my peace at. I came here, and I tell you, the stress has just left me since I've been in this area. Even though they work me like a dog here, but it's a great place to work. Oh, and... Everyone likes to see the terror. I would often sit out here and play my guitar. Yes, I bought a guitar since I've been here. I sit out and play my guitar out here in the garden. And sometimes I get applause, sometimes I wouldn't, but it's a great place to play guitar in between that. Okay, here we go. Walking back in the garden. I'm trying not to be too rocky on the film or too boring. Okay, here we go. So, now the secret passageway to the kitchen. This is where I do a lot of my work. I prepare to get the meals prepared. And everything here, cleaning area. This will give me memories when I look back and watch this again. See, and here we are. It's 
pasta night tonight, so we're getting ready for pasta night. That's the man with the plan. Look at these fridges. Everything in them. And the best, the best cold water anywhere. See that water? I will never go to plastic bottle water anymore because these. Hold it. Oh no, those trays. Oh no. Oh no. Do it. Okay. Okay. These bottles. As you can see, glass, uh, and nothing compares to ice water as they're a nice long run and you get here. Oh yeah. So anyways, here we are walking out. This is the food pantry where everything is kept and which we do a lot of our business from. Let's see, there's beer and wine, everything you need to get your party started. Lots of food, lots of pasta, all the fixings. Okay, and then we walk out of here before it gets too busy here. This is the, uh, is it working? It's on it. It's strange here. If you see a little white thing, this is where the toilet paper just fits. Anyways, now we go out to where they have pasta night. And this is where, usually the tables are put over lengthways, but they're right there apart because we had a wedding here yesterday in this area. And after the wedding, um, we had a, a medieval dancing troupe, for real. They had all medieval costumes and everything. The ladies with the big puffy dresses on and the guys in their pantaloons. And look at this view. It's not yet sunset, but you hear those birds singing? Who wouldn't like this? As I said, when I first arrived, I would get used to this. And I won't miss it. But I must move on. I think it's wrong. Okay, moving along. In. This is the reception. See, this is music. Say, say hello. Say hello, Bill. They got a cappuccino machine before I left. And it was great, but it broke down. So, anyways, I have to take a picture. I was like, and then you so mad. I was like, you can't get mad. Because this is a yellow reception. Okay, a couple more areas. One more there. So they'll be people standing there, so they'll like be like, put out your hand, and you put out your hand, and then put corn on it, and all of them. Look at this. Look at this thing. And believe it or not, I guess the nuns used to get up in these windows <coughs> during prayers, but as well, at one time, I saw it right here, is where they would lead the service or whatever it was. They do have a backup storage area, in which not all the stuff is kept. They have lots, lots of events here. They even have their own museum. We're just in here. The these are the steps for this. Pretty cool, huh? Anyways, here's the museum. Pieces and artifacts. Stuff they used to make here. 
pottery or just different stuff about the area. There's some Roman coins, as you can see. Bowels, pottery. Very interesting. Very interesting. Of course, great views as always. No matter where, how those ones between that it's hard not to take a picture of when you're living here in Italy because everything, especially around Florence, is so picturesque. You can't help but want to take pictures. Every place is like something you see in a postcard. Anyways, there we go. Okay. A couple more rooms. Almost done. Here we go. It's a back area where we keep all the excess stuff. Um, this is an old advertisement. Also here. And some historical documents about the area. Look at this shower. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now the fun part. The part no one else gets to see. Almost right. This is the back area. This is what I think is cool. Yeah, this is the original staircase. Oh. This is a storage area, as you can see. Up to flight the stairs. And in the morning, if I move to sleep, these stairs are really noisy. Look how cool this is. Glass stairs for the old stairs underneath. I don't know, I thought it was cool. Especially the fact that they kept them. Another great view outside. The porthole. storage area for beds, for sheets. Again, a great view. Another great view. An old stone sink. Yes, that's where they used to wash your head. A wash, wash, wash. And last but not least, the dormitory where I stay. This is a beautiful room. Hi, right. guitar. All spacious. And we walk down. And for the last view for today. Ciao.